Hello everyone and welcome back to PBTV. Um, I've been eyeing one of these up as an entry into my own armory, so I thought it was an excuse to sort of bring it to the table and have a little run through it and see whether or not I can convince myself. But this is uh, one of the VSS that we have in uh, from Cyma, so it is the CM099. Uh, been hugely popular recently. Um, various different uh, games and uh, films and everything. So uh, we'll grab this thing, we'll go through it and see whether or not it might interest you. Uh, I can see roughly where it'd sit in, in my personal armory, definitely an outdoor uh, platform with the barrel length uh, and the overall size of it. But uh, I know some people that definitely run these in CQB and they absolutely love them. So out the box, these things are about 312 FPS. So Bang in that sort of perfect sort of 323 30 mark, um, so plus or minus 10%. They are sort of um, a standard gearbox internally, so you do have options to uh, sort of change things around uh, ex uh, internally as well if you're wanting a Titan or an Aster, all uh, options down the line. But 312, it sits perfectly, so you can CQB this thing, you can outdoor, uh, and with the barrel length and everything, you're not going to be outranged uh, with other sort of AGs in its bracket. One thing I will say about this, does have a little bit of weight behind it. It does mean that if you're in a static position, you can hold it um, quite comfortably and keep on target for quite a while. But running around with this thing for a while, it is a smidge over 2.9 kilos. So you're going to know about it after uh, a little bit of uh, a few uh, jogs. It is fixed in length. The stock doesn't fold or anything or collapse down. So this is uh, just under a meter. It's about 94 centimeters in length. Um, it is not uh, out the box as a sort of prelim to a DMR platform, it does have all five functions, so safe, um, uh, full auto and semi auto is all the way down the bottom. It is a very short throw lever, so normally it's just going to be left in one position. With the throw lever down, you can pull the bolt, uh, bolt back and in there you get the slider style hop. Uh, there is a little screw in there, so once you've got it set, you can just tweak that little screw up and lock it in place. Some people have uh, problems with slider hops moving during games and everything like that. There is a little screw that allows you to tighten it and lock it in place. Does mean it's not really adjustable on the fly, but it does mean it is set in, uh, in its position and you can have a consistent hop all throughout the day. As I was saying with uh, sort of accuracy and consistency, with that fixed hop, once it's locked in place, you do have a 455 millimeter in a barrel. It goes all the way to the end there. So this isn't considered a, a can or anything like that. This is just a shroud around the uh, inner barrel and it is a type bar, so it is a 6.03 out the box. So with barrel length and a uh, already fitted type bar, you're gonna have some really good uh, sort of accuracy and consistency over range. That being said, uh, the two sort of PSO style optics that we have in, unfortunately don't fit this one. So the telescopic one that has the battery compartment on the bottom, uh, on the bottom of it sort of fouls on the uh, body here. There, were, there are some that do fit, we're just trying to find the right one and we will link it in the product. It does come with a 330 round high cap magazine. Again, similar to other AK platforms. Just dropping it out the bottom and rolling it in nice and easy, uh, and you can get this reloaded really, really quickly. Your battery compartment is in the top here, so pressing the button at the back will remove the top cover, and you can slide a stick battery, so this entire compartment is your uh, sort of space that you've got for your battery. Inside the box, there is a uh, NIM battery specifically for here. Uh, on the recommendations, we've recommended a 7.4 LiPo if you're wanting to move to LiPo over NIM. Again, the stock, instead of this being the wood variant, we do have the polymer variant. So we have a solid black plastic front end and stock with a very nice soft rubber uh, butt pad there. So again, if you're sort of trying to be sneaky beaky, this thing's um, definitely, it's gonna be really, really cool sort of uh, cutting through bushes and uh, being super sneaky almost. Not quite a sniper or a DMR, being a bit more of a uh, sort of a recon style uh, loadout. There is a sling point at the back there as well, um, but yeah. Uh, running the iron sights, you do have the slider at the front and the standard iron. They are a little bit further forward, so if you're used to the standard irons at the back, irons at the front, you're just going to have to slightly adjust your sort of um, maneuverability of this platform as you're running around. 
But yeah, absolutely love this thing. Uh, definitely tempted to add one to my uh, armory and um, sort of see what I could do with it, whether or not it's just uh, stick to an assault platform or maybe a DMR, but definitely a candidate for either. Uh, so uh, hopefully if you've liked the information that we've presented here, uh, and if this is something that you're wanting to add to your armory, definitely grab one whilst you can. They are incredibly cool and uh, super versatile when it comes to adding other bits like Titans, Asters, uh, all sorts of other bits. But it already comes with some of the important bits like the type bar barrel uh, and everything like that. But if that's everything, thank you very much for watching and we'll ca catch you in a bit. See you in a bit. Bye.